Hey everybody, so on my quest for bike packing, lately it's been getting towards the end of the year. I've just been loading down the bike and just taking it on trails just to get some conditioning. But an invitation came up that kind of threw me off. And I hadn't quite got all my ultralight gear, but I was looking at the weather and the weather to come. And I had a few days off to take and I was like, man, what the heck? I, what I had will work. It'll just be a little bit bulky. I just needed like a little tent. So I got a cheapie and man, I took the days off and uh, away we went. But I got here a day early to a little town called Wenatchee, Washington, which is referred to as the apple capital of the world because of the many orchards. And it's also uh, called the buckle of the power belt of the great northwest because it's there's so many series of hydroelectric dams here on the columbia river and it borders the columbia river as you see right here there's a beautiful nice trail that basically goes down the whole river it's like if you were a commuter or bicycle that would just be fantastic to uh ride this every day is simply gorgeous So the forecast was the highs were supposed to maybe scratch 50, be clear, yet pretty windy coming through and the lows down around freezing. So the group I'm going to be riding with is the Tacoma branch of the Mountaineers. So the ride into camp is going to be a mixture of single and double track with a little bit of hike a bike. of truth of Wikipedia, the ancient lakes of the Columbia Valley is an American viticulture area which lies on the western edge of the Columbia Basin near the little town of Quincy in Washington. So basically the last ice age came through here and the glacier just uh, scooped out the Columbia River and left a couple of puddles here off to the left and that is the lakes that we're going to be checking out. What was really cool about this type of topography is that the trail riding I was doing and this are so different that I never had my gear loosen up until this trip. My bag, as you can see, it almost fell off on that last descent. So I'm riding with a small group of the Mountaineers, which is a nonprofit outdoor community of over 14,000 active members here in the Pacific Northwest, founded way back in 1906. So for over 100 years, their volunteers have been teaching skills and sharing adventures and conserving land. You know, they're operating under a 501c3 nonprofit and they're trying to enrich the community, you know, by helping people explore, conserve, and learn about, and enjoy the land and the waters of uh, the great Pacific Northwest. They were founded here in Washington, and they're really trying to t have a safe environment and uh, help people who might not have ever ventured out there alone, which is fantastic. So if you guys, uh, curious about this and you're in the area, I'll leave some links below. So we're pitching camp here at Dusty Lake and man does that name really uh, do this place justice because everything was dusty. It was dusty all night especially when the wind was blowing. But if you can see on the left see that little white line up against the basalt rock? 
That is actually caliche I just found out, which is pretty wild. I thought that stuff was only in Texas. Fortunately, the aromatic fragrance of all the sagebrush that was all around kind of countered the talcum powder dust that uh, we would soon be uh, inhaling. So after camp was set up, everybody kind of convened around Scott, talking story and reviewing the day's events and cooking up a little hot beverage and perhaps making a little meal. And as the daylight fell, so did the temperature. So for myself, it was a quick night as I didn't have the clothes that I actually needed to stay out and talk story. But a few uh, brave souls sure did till later on that night. Here's the guys who invited me out for this bike packing trip. Would you like to introduce yourself and say uh, a little bit about the program? I am Scott Giselle. I am the chair of the bike packing committee in the Mountaineers for the Tacoma branch. And Jim, it was really nice to have you today. Come along, man. Get some experience. Appreciate it. Appreciate You're welcome, it. Welcome. Yeah. And and yourself? Yeah, I'm Sean Rabel, uh, course instructor for the bike and backing class with the Mountaineers. And um, yeah, glad to have you along today with us. Uh, hope you enjoyed our uh, inaugural field trip out with our our first round of students. All right, very good. And I'll get with you guys, and there'll be links posted down below for you guys. So uh, if you're interested, maybe you can get hold of these guys and take some lessons. time for us to make our way back and it was a chilly morning and we had quite a bit of headwind to contend with. type of running race going on both the days we were out there. So the trip back was cut a little short. We were going to go check out the Ancient Lakes, which is another part of the canyon, but the weather was just too gnarly, too much wind and dust, and it was okay. It's just another excuse to come back and check it out again. But here we made it back and this is the, Scott giving the debriefing to everybody and asking everybody's opinion and everybody was stoked. Nobody had anything bad to say. It was just all good reviews and the energy was pretty awesome. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Mm -hmm. 